Thursdays. Um, if you could get your social studies packet, we're going to continue learning about the branches of government. And I need you to find the pages that look like 119 and 120. So 119 with the picture of the White House on it and the Capitol building. And then page 120, we're gonna do that. So the other day when we did social studies, we did page 118 and we did what number one told us to do, which was to inspect things, to find words we didn't know and to read closely. So again, we all go back to rereading so we can find out more information, whether we're reading fiction or nonfiction, okay, to be good reading detectives. So I'm gonna reread this page. We're gonna look at our web today, and then we're gonna fill in the web over here. All right, so get a pencil or something to write with too. You're gonna listen first, and then you're gonna write with me. So, three branches of government. Long ago, leaders wrote the Constitution. The Constitution is the set of rules that explains how the United States government works. A government is a group of people who makes decisions for a state or a country. The leaders created a government with three branches or parts. Congress is a group of leaders from each state. They make the laws. The president makes sure that the laws are followed and the Supreme Court makes sure laws are fair and follow the Constitution. The web shows the three branches of the United States government. All the branches must work together to make sure the government works well. So there's the President, the Supreme Court, and Congress. So how does the web help you understand how the government um, works? Well, when I look at it, I see all my lines connect. So I know they all are working together to make the rules, to make sure the rules are fair, to make sure people follow the rules. All right, and then we're gonna turn the page and write what job each branch of the United States government does. So it tells us here, details give us information about the topic. To find details, read the whole text. We just did that, check. Reread the text, we did that too. What is it about? This is the topic. Look for details that tell you something about the topic. Details may answer questions like who, what, when, and why. All right, so we're gonna work on this now. So, three branches of government. Long ago, leaders wrote the Constitution. The Constitution is the set of rules that explains how the United States government works. A government is a group of people who make decisions for this decisions for a state or a country. So it says the Constitution names three branches of government. So what are those three branches and what do they do? Well, the one branch is the Congress and their job is to make laws. The second is the president and the president has to make sure the laws are followed. So you can go back and you can see where it says the president makes sure the laws are followed, okay? And that's what I wrote here. So if you have a highlighter or a crayon or a pencil with you and you want to underline it or circle it so you can copy it. So branch number one is Congress and they make the laws. The second branch is the president and the president makes sure the laws are followed. And then the last one is the Supreme Court, which is right here that we read about last week. And the Supreme Court makes sure the laws are fair. All right, the Supreme Court makes sure laws are fair. And they follow the Constitution, but we can just stop at fair for today. So you wanna fill in your web here, okay? And then next time we come together, We'll end up doing page 122 and then we'll watch a Pop video on Wednesday about the branches of government. So you can replay this video if you need to. You can go and highlight, but you're going to make sure that you tell what the three branches are and what they do. Congress, the President, the Supreme Court makes laws, make sure the laws are followed, 
and make sure the laws are fair. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget, tomorrow's crazy hair day. Bye guys.